Welcome to another edition of Community Conversations. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. Joining me today is President Libby Burmaster, uh, a recently new president to Frederick Community College. Welcome, Libby. Hi, Jan. Great to be here. Well, thank you for joining me today. I think this is a great opportunity for people in our viewing audience to learn a little bit about you. So can you um, tell people a little bit about yourself, what your experience has been? And I, I know you have some Frederick County experience as well as experience in other parts of the country. I am just the luckiest woman in the world, Jan. I have this great privilege to return to my hometown. I grew up in Frederick. I was born in Baltimore, um, graduated from Governor Thomas Johnson High School, and then my family moved uh, to Madison, Wisconsin, where I stayed for 42 years and have had a, a great experience there. And now I get to return to my hometown and serve in this great uh, role as the president at FCC. Okay, well, you've been there now for a little less than a year, maybe nine months or so. And so what can you tell us about um, some of your near-term goals and your vision for Frederick Community College? Well, it seems much longer. I've actually only been here six months. Wow. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but it's been a great six months, and it is a wonderful time for Frederick Community College. Um, going back to having grown up here, um, I, I watched as Frederick Community College uh, was being built. I was in high school and used to ride my bike out on Possum Town Pike and I saw as they were breaking ground and the first buildings were built. And at the time, I remember the excitement in Frederick County that um, the college was going to have its own campus, um, the dreams of what the college could provide for the citizens of the county, and that same spirit of innovation and creativity around um, the, the building of the new campus. That's where we are today. This is a critical time for community colleges, and Frederick Community College is perfectly poised to lead uh, as the economic engine in workforce development and, and post-secondary education for all the citizens of our county to really use it as the vehicle for their own individual growth and development, but also we will all value from the success of students at Frederick Community College. Well, you serve a large number of students with a, a large number of backgrounds. You have students who are coming out of high school and looking to pursue a college degree or an associate degree. You have a lot of adults who are coming back to gain information, sometimes for their own personal interests, sometimes to retool for another job. And so some people are there for a part-time experience. Some people are there longer. So how do you um, try to meet the needs of so many different people? Well, first of all, by listening to the community and listening to the needs of our students and being very connected to the economic and workforce um, initiatives uh, of the county and our state and country. Um, it, it is, the, the community college experience right now is really our best hope, um, I believe, for reclaiming the American dream. We know that um, in the past years, it's become more and more apparent that everyone is going to need either education or um, workforce training, skills-based training beyond high school. And the community college, as you pointed out, can reach learners of all ages, uh, no matter what their past educational experience might have been. We're an open enrollment institution, you come where you are, and what the college will help you do is to find that pathway to your individual um, success and ability to develop new knowledge and skills for the job opportunities ahead for you. Well, I know that you work with uh, a number of our large business employers and small employers as well to make sure that you provide programs to help support the development of their workforce. And I know that's very important to a lot of our businesses because they want to provide a career path for their employees and they recognize that there's a need for continued education to accomplish mm -hmm. that. So can you talk about your outreach and relationship with the business community here? Yes, and, and it really, 
Um, outreach is the, the word partnership, and most importantly, collaborating with all of our partners, both the business community um, as well as other higher ed institutions. Um, we have a very close relationship with Frederick County Public Schools, the K-12 system. It's about working together and taking the, the, um, the, the needs of the county for the future and being innovative in how we partner and prepare um, the workers and the future leaders and citizens for both our economy and, quite frankly, for our democracy. Um, we need educated um, citizens who are going to um, really um, be the leaders in both of those areas. Yeah, for a civil society to function well, we need yes. to have an educated community. And of course, for our long-term economic pr prosperity, we have to have a well-educated workforce and a well-trained workforce. And I think more than ever before, you know, technology is changing, people change jobs during their mm -hmm. career path probably more frequently than ever in the history of uh, humankind. And so preparing for that and being able to continue to learn and to you know, retrain yourself for those jobs is really an important uh, part of the work life of people of the future. Isn't that true? So well said. What um, the great opportunity at Frederick Community College is, come and know your passion or what you're very interested in. And at the college, we will help find the way to, to be a lifelong learner, learner in those areas. Because as you've stated, it, there could be many, many um, different careers or different points on a career pathway that individuals are going to have in their lives. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your experience uh, working in community colleges in Wisconsin and mm -hmm. how that translates to working here in our community college? The community college experience is one of the, the great riches of in America. And as I said, it is that, um, that post-secondary pathway, um, either to higher education uh, in a four-year degree or, or, or graduate degrees, um, and, or also into going into a career uh, with an associate degree that you can receive in a, a community college, or a certificate, or a, a pathway, again, into a good job, where then you could go out and work for a while, come back into the educational uh, pathway, um, or, as most of our students do, they are working at the same time that they are enrolled at FCC. Um, that's pretty similar in Wisconsin. And the, the, the wonderful, what I call a marriage, between um, really career pathways and career readiness and uh, a good, solid liberal arts education where general studies and general education is emphasized. That was true in Wisconsin, and that's also true at Frederick Community College. So I'd say the similarities are great. Um, and the most exciting thing that I could say about both my experience in Wisconsin and in, in um, Frederick County is that the diversity of the students, um, all ages, as you had pointed out earlier, um, coming from perspectives coming from all walks of life and um, coming together in a sense of a college community um, to really pursue uh, the knowledge and skills that they're going to need. Well, we all face uh, constrained budget times mm -hmm. and I know one of our shared objectives for community college is to make sure that it remains affordable yes. so that people who need to have access to education can obtain that at a reasonable cost. And so all of us are looking for ways to um, make sure we meet that demand and live within our constrained budgets. And I wanted to, to just have you speak to a little bit about the importance of making sure that tuition is affordable. Absolutely. Um, I said earlier how community colleges have open enrollment, meaning that we take learners at all points on the continuum. And um, that that speaks so highly to the access uh, question. And then, of course, affordability is directly related to access. It still is, and it may be the best option uh, if you're planning to pursue a four-year degree. For many of the students we serve, 
it is a great economic challenge. And, and we must ensure um, that access to uh, Frederick Community College is affordable, as you've pointed out. Um, the cost of textbooks has risen um, considerably. The wraparound costs to attending uh, community college, uh, paying for childcare, paying for your transportation, um, all of those things factor into the affordability question. One of the things that is very fortunate about FCC is that there's been a strong foundation. Mm -hmm. um, and they've, uh, there's a long history of the foundation. Uh, members of the community um, coming to the plate and realizing the affordability question and raising money for scholarships, um, for book funds, for fees. And uh, right now, the FCC Foundation is perfectly poised to continue in that great tradition and history of assisting our students. So how do you reach out to those students who may need financial assistance so they're aware of how to obtain that? And how do you work with the County Workforce Services Agency to try to make sure that, we, that people have access to Frederick Community College and all of the coursework that it offers? Well, you have to, as I said earlier, it has to be a partnership. We can't be working in silos. We, we must communicate uh, what we're doing. We have to come together in outreach um, activities. Um, the, um, we have at FCC um, individuals who are working directly with Workforce Services. We have a vice president who serves on the board. Um, we uh, work together in um, job training mm -hmm. initiatives. And what I think is most exciting is that right now, um, with the wonderful work that's being done um, in your office and throughout the county in really emphasizing um, job development and economic development uh, and the understanding that education is the backbone of economic development, um, working in collaboration, I think there couldn't be a more exciting time um, uh, for Frederick County in, uh, ahead in really ensuring that this is a very difficult time uh, economically for folks. It and is. you know that, and the people at Workforce Services know that, and at FCC we know that. And, and uh, we're very excited about the future collaborations that are in the works. Well, I certainly look forward to working with you, particularly on um, making sure the community college remains affordable because we know people who are working and going to school, if the cost of tuition goes up, the time they take to finish their degree may be extended, and that is yes, an issue. very much. Not only time to, to degree, but one of the things that's um, very important is the recognition that a number of individuals actually have to drop out. They have to withdraw because of the economic um, situation and the, the lack of affordability. And that's why right now, um, not only working from the scholarship and foundation arena, but also looking to um, financial aid through the federal government. Well, I want to thank you for being here uh, today on Community Conversations. Is there anything you'd like to say uh, to our viewing audience to share about how they can get more involved and find information out about the community college? Absolutely. Please visit our website for Frederick Community College. And also, please come by and uh, uh, just visit the campus. Come to the activities uh, that we offer in the theater and the gallery and the conference center and um, know that it is your community college. It is our community college. Well, thank you for joining us today. I hope you'll come back and talk to me sometime again because pleasure, there's Jan. always more to learn <laughs> about the things that are happening at the community college. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Community Conversations. Uh, we'll be back again next week with a new edition. Mm -hmm.